Hey everyone! Today I want to share some deeply personal insights on how I've simplified my life by letting go of certain toxic habits. If you've ever felt overwhelmed by the chaos of everyday life or found yourself trapped in cycles that don't serve you, this video is for you. Over the years, I've discovered that simplifying life isn't just about decluttering your home or reducing your possessions. It's about decluttering your mind and heart from habits that weigh you down. I found that by shifting focus, changing habits, and embracing a more minimalist mindset, I've been able to create a more peaceful, meaningful life. Let me take you through the seven key habits I quit to simplify my life and find genuine happiness. First off, let's talk about mindful spending. For a long time, I found myself buying things impulsively, thinking that a new purchase would somehow fill a void or make me happier. But I quickly realized this was leading to clutter, both in my home and in my mind. I made a change by writing down everything I wanted to buy before actually purchasing it. This simple act of creating a list, separating wants from needs, helped me become more intentional with my money. Instead of buying things on a whim, I started evaluating whether each item would truly add value to my life. This shift in mindset allowed me to cut down on unnecessary purchases and focus my resources on what really matters, leading to less clutter and a more mindful approach to spending. Another significant change was reducing my screen time, particularly on social media. I found myself caught in the endless scroll, feeling more anxious and discontented with each swipe. It was a toxic habit that drained my energy and made me feel less connected to my own life. So I decided to become more conscious of how social media was making me feel. Whenever I felt the tightness in my chest or the rise of jealousy and discontentment, I knew it was time to put the phone down. I even started using a phone box a simple tool that allowed me to physically put my phone away and out of sight. This not only helped reduce my screen time, but also freed me up to engage in more meaningful activities and spend quality time with my family. Disconnecting from the digital world has been one of the best decisions for my mental health. Next, I focused on establishing a simple and consistent morning routine. For the longest time, I struggled with feeling overwhelmed in the mornings, often putting off simple tasks that would later pile up and create more stress. I realized the importance of starting my day with intention. I simplified my morning routine to just three essential tasks, making the bed, putting away dishes, and starting a load of laundry. This may sound basic, but these small actions helped set a calm, organized tone for the day. By taking care of these essentials, I was able to create a peaceful environment that significantly reduced stress and chaos in my home. One habit that has truly transformed my well-being is getting outdoors more often. I used to stay inside, feeling comfortable in my own little bubble, but I realized this was contributing to a sense of isolation and stagnation. So, I made a conscious decision to spend more time outside, whether it was a simple walk, a bike ride, or just sitting on a patio. Getting out into nature has a way of grounding you, reminding you of the bigger picture, and helping you see life from a broader perspective. It has not only improved my physical health, but also my mental clarity and emotional balance. A huge turning point in my journey was overcoming jealousy, Jealousy is a toxic emotion that can consume you if you let it. I found myself constantly comparing my life to others, feeling like what I had wasn't enough. To counter this, I started a daily gratitude practice. By consciously focusing on the things I was grateful for, both big and small, I began to shift my mindset from one of lack to one of abundance. I realized that gratitude isn't just about saying you're thankful, it's about truly feeling it in your heart and allowing it to transform your perspective. This practice has helped me appreciate my unique journey and find contentment in my own life. 
I also recognized the importance of finding a balance between work and rest. I've always been either all in, overworking myself to exhaustion, or on the opposite end, feeling unmotivated and lazy. I knew I needed to find a middle ground where I could work diligently, but also rest well. I turned to prayer and mindfulness, seeking guidance and trying to release my desire for control. By trusting in a greater purpose and letting go of the need to control every outcome, I found more peace in my daily routine. This balance has allowed me to be more present with my family and less stressed about the future. Lastly, I learned to let go of the fear of asking for help. I used to think that reaching out was a sign of weakness, that I had to handle everything on my own. But I came to understand that asking for help is a strength, not a weakness. It's about recognizing that we're not meant to do life alone. By allowing others to support me, I've strengthened my relationships and created a deeper sense of community. It's okay to lean on others. It's okay to admit that you don't have it all together. This vulnerability has opened up new avenues for growth and connection that I never imagined possible. In conclusion, simplifying my life through these changes has been an ongoing journey, but one that's been incredibly rewarding. By letting go of these toxic habits, mindless spending, excessive screen time, chaotic mornings, jealousy, isolation, overworking, and the fear of asking for help, I've made room for what truly matters, peace, connection, and intentional living. If you're feeling overwhelmed or stuck, I encourage you to reflect on these habits and see how they might be impacting your own life. Remember, simplicity isn't about deprivation. It's about creating space for joy, fulfillment, and growth. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Your support helps us create more content like this. Join our community and let's continue this journey towards a more mindful and frugal lifestyle together. Thanks again for your support. See you in the next video soon. Take care.